Hello everyone, so it has been quite a while, um, I think I just checked before I started this video and I think I did a like chatty catch up video thing about 10 months ago saying that I would be on here a lot more and I had made the move back to my parents house and that I would be able to produce more videos and things like that. And then I managed to do about six months ago a video about the booktube prize um, so it has <laughs> it's been a while and making videos has become something that has become harder and harder for me to do and I kind of envisaged when I made that video about 10 months ago that I no longer have studying to do. I finished um, my master's um, in psychology and so I thought that was usually something that took up a lot of my time. And then with moving back to my dad's house um, I thought I would have a bit more free time uh, to concentrate on it. Um, a lot of pressure's off. But I've been quite busy since I posted those videos and I did participate in the booktube prize this year but I kind of struggled with it and ironically like I just said I thought with, with having the masters completed this would be the easiest year I could fully concentrate on it I had nothing else to do um, and I struggled the most um, out of all the, the, the kind of th four years I think I've done it uh, this was like the hardest year for me to keep on top of the books um, so I just thought I would do this video as a little bit of a chatty catch-up of what I've been doing, what I've been filling my time with, and then maybe um, in this rambly way we can kind of have a bit of a plan at the end of, of how I'm going to try and make more videos because this is my passion project. Um, I don't get any money or any benefit from creating these videos. Um, these videos are not really for people that know me personally, these are just videos in which I can talk to other bookish people on the internet who just want to discuss the books that we're reading. That's my passion. Um, I don't have a job in, in books, I don't have a life that really encourages books, I don't have a partner that loves books, uh, friends that love books, things like that. So this is a passion project, this is something that I do just to satiate the part of myself that really wants to connect with bookish people it's so that I can have my thoughts on books out in the world and we can have a conversation um, so yeah I want to be able to try and and make more videos even if it's getting harder because it's just something that I feel happy and passionate about doing so so since we last spoke, um, I have dedicated a lot of time over the last one month to my health and fitness journey. Um, so I started with an online coach who I knew um, from college and um, she does it online so she doesn't live locally to me. Um, but we've been doing four months solid on that, it's had a meal plan, it's had functional strength weight training program, exercise program. Um, and absolutely loving that so um, I've really put a lot of energy into that um, in the last kind of four months and um, lost a little bit of weight from doing that which is great but my strength and my fitness has really improved so that's taken up a lot of my time um, I also have this year prioritized a lot of kind of mindfulness so I do a 7 p.m. Monday night online mindfulness class uh, my auntie also connects on the call um, and a lady kind of does an hour mindfulness meditation session and that's amazing um, and I really think it's it's really powerful to kind of have mindfulness in your everyday routine so again that's things that I would probably like to discuss on the channel at some point the benefits of mindfulness and how to incorporate it a bit more and, and talk about that uh, but that's something else that the last kind of six months I've, I've prioritized a lot as well um, and that has you know really helped um, and then kind of I, I just think of becoming a rut like I live in a house of five people so there is never much 
quiet time. Uh, during the week I'm now going to the gym, then I'm seeing my partner and then we're trying to get things done in between so I just feel like I haven't carved out much creative project time. I'm also in a situation where my book reading is all over the place at the moment so I did do the book due prize but I really struggled with getting all six titles done by the deadline um, and so I've created this bad habit of rolling on books so I managed to finish all of those titles but I'm in a situation now where I have quite a lot of outstanding books that I've kind of dipped into started to read maybe 30 40 percent in and started another one so I have like six books on the go in different um, formats ebook audiobook um, and physical library book and then physical books that I own so it would be really good to do a video as well and kind of cleaning up my TBR and sorting that out um, because I miss being able to talk to people about books um, and books that I've loved and kind of gushing about them to people who also have really liked the books or somebody might have a different opinion and we can have a chat. Um, a small caveat to that as well, I decided years after the fact um this week to delete two of my videos um they are my most controversial videos and i get so much hate on these videos and i wanted to keep them up for a long time to prove a point that i was entitled to my opinion on these books um and it's been i think it's been like five years and it's just chipped away and chipped away and more people from all over the internet who never follow any of my videos have just put vitriol and nasty things about it um, so I think I just had enough this week I, d I deleted them so one of them was the shack and the other one was on the road um, I stand by what I said on them but it just it amuses me that it, it created so much upset for people and I think that ties into kind of what's happened this week with um, Trump being elected again. Um, I find particularly on the road the video that I made there was some real hate about my opinion. Um, people saying I didn't really get it and to me that epitomises kind of this sense that people are entitled to an opinion more than you are and that they will steamroll your opinion um, they will just put hate over your opinion um, that they won't be respectful um, that they you know accuse me of being stupid or not being able to articulate myself properly or missing the point or um, taking it out of his, its historical context uh, things that I just found just wasn't really um, necessary for a, a, a book video that I put up years ago in which I was in my early 20s and I just didn't like the way women were depicted in the book um, but it amuses me uh, yeah that people feel so strongly um, but I decided I just didn't want a part of that anymore. I didn't want to create such negative content because it was only seeming to get negative comments. Nobody was um, interested in my actual opinion. They were just interested in um, incinerating my opinion. And I just, I don't have the mental energy. I think at the moment with the way the world is, there's just so much hate and I just find that really exhausting. And being in a position to have to defend your opinion from five years ago, and I don't watch my own videos, so, I never actually watched it because of the cringe factor I don't like to see myself um, so I just didn't have it in the tank to continue this argument continue this negativity um, and people essentially just have an opportunity to assassinate my character on these videos it just became a little bit much for me um, especially when I usually get such lovely comments on my other videos and there's just a small patch of the internet that watches my videos which I'm more than happy with and we're just a nice little community and we just talk about books so there's that um, so I would like to do a video 
kind of going through some books I've recently read and enjoyed, um, cleaning out my TBR. Um, one day I could actually go through all my piles of my physical library books and my physical books and kind of like start to peel away at them. I don't know what you want me to do. Um, I didn't have a plan or a structure for this video, I just wanted to offload a few things with you guys um, and see where we came to. But it was me trying to say to the people that did enjoy my videos that I really want to produce more. I desperately want to keep on producing videos and it's not me giving up making videos, it's just me trying to find a way to balance the chaos of where I live and work and other things in my week and trying to have designated time to talk to people on the internet to make these videos. So I think I might post another video with kind of books I've recently been reading um, and we'll take it from there. I know December is coming up and it's an incredibly busy month. Um, a lot of family involvement um, but hopefully you will see more from me but thank you guys so much if you've actually bothered to watch this video because it literally makes no sense but I just felt like I needed to offload and put something out there so that I can slowly um, get back onto making videos even though this was very very rusty but thank you so much for watching and I will be back with a video very soon bye for now